These are from Skip Skylar. Go up where the nails have come out of the walls. I may go one. Or two, let me see. Right above it. These are, like I said, the vibration of a building. It makes the nails protrude. I saw another one. Where is it? And this is um, behind my um, mirror bar or mirror, whatever. But I'm, bit, I'm about to. Um, I want to just record it real fast. Let me go over here. Up here. See? It's when nail starts. See, that's a nail. When the nail starts coming out the walls from the vibration, the sonic waves. Um, I'm about to shield. I'm shielding and um, this side of the wall. So I figure I record it before I shield it. Like I said, this is behind the uh, behind the mirror. So okay, I just wanted to get the right name. This is the type of magnetic field we're working with. That's in my house. It does a lot of vibrating. Um, scalar and. These are basically the symptoms that I have in pink. But yeah. This is called. I'm not even going to pronounce it because I don't think I know the right pronunciation. But um, scalar. Scalar. Um, is a type of energy that resonates and vibrates. And if you do a research on yourself. Um, like I said, it's a lot of sonic wave, electric magnetic field within the structure of my house has cracks everywhere. Um, I do a lot of shielding to protect myself. Um, it's this, uh, it's scientific. It's not nothing mental, it's all scientific. We're not taught a lot of science. We're, 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 we're in a nation, a country, a land of people who's taught more psychological things, mental illnesses and stuff like that. A lot of things are not what they seem. Um, and it's um, a lot of things are smoke and mirrors to camouflage other things that so the uh, the mass will not be aware. So I just wanted to do a quick video before I finish um, doing that wall. That's a fracture. These kind of fractures are all over. These are fractures. Goes all the way up. It stops here. It, it, it's really, you can see it. It's really just real fine. It goes all the way up. These are fractures. Comes all the way down. And the crossing, let me see, can I get it? Am I focusing correctly? Okay. The fracture goes all the way. These are fractures. These are fractures from the vibration of the structure. I can't get all the way up. And it goes all the way. Okay. And these, let me go up here. Okay. These are fractures. Okay, um, if you know how the Bennett, I, I live on end unit, so if you know how the end unit is, um, 
when you walk in and stuff like that. Let me see, can I get a, any fractures over here? I can't see. Well, let me go in my window. Everybody knows how my window is. I'm the only pink one. See, up top, here go fractures. Here go, see? These are fractures for... back now okay this right here because I speak up and stand up or I call about maintenance and they will come for months to years Um, I had a hole in the wall. They had a contractor that came here bef and um, did put a hole, a big giant hole in my wall, and never came back the next day. He was supposed to come back the next day and, and steal it, and never did. Well, it remained for like two years till I called Public Safety, Ch the City of Chester Public Safety. But housing authorities would not come out and seal the hole, it was a big hole. Okay, I'm trying to see how that piece came out. Up there, up here. And where is it laying? Right here. Okay, this is from a sonic waves. Because what you, all you, I hear like thunder, like boom from time to time. Like a mall boom, like, oh, it sounds like when it's raining and you hear thundering and lightning and thundering from afar, that's what you hear. So, I'm not crazy. They'll call me crazy. Uh, to, there's a smoke and mirror with, with housing authorities in me because I'm the only one that corresponds back and forth with them um, from legal battles and stuff like that. What, ha what happened is it'll start with one thing. And uh, how how housing authorities will do is to put a disruptive program into my files. And they'll um, psychologically mostly uh, have been abusing me for years with how they do the smoke and mirror thing with my files. Always losing things, never you know dates since to have me come in, um, not sticking to p policies, their own policies or their own um, lease. Um, but anyway, when I say that, um, but they'll, they'll quick, what they'll do is, for it, let me see, how can I put it? I'll file a grievance. The grievance will, for, will sit for two or three months and, um, and maybe more. Uh, and then next thing, because when you file a grievance, we would, they, they were under receiverships. This was the policy. You file a, a tenant file a grievance. It freezes the rent. So I would file a grievance, and they would never get back with me, and it would sit for two, three months. And I'm thinking, is they waiting on it? But they lose the paperwork, or somehow it doesn't. So now they're charging me with non-payment rent because the rent is not. I'm not paying the rent. If I attempt to try to pay the rent when it's in, in the grievance process, they will have many times have it rejected. So, um, um, so when you when I would file a grievance, they would. Three months go by, four months go by. They will start um, coming after me. They will file for a, a suit, um, violation of lease, and try to sue me for non-payment, evict me, not sue me, evict is do a eviction for non-payment of rent. And see, when you go into the court system, regardless if anything, because the court doesn't know that it's under receivership and they had this policy, so. They would win the battle because, yeah, it was non-payment rent, but they don't. They didn't care. The judge wouldn't care because they're brought by housing authorities. This judge, this, um, a specific judge, that he sees, he he hears and sees in all the cases. So it, the fact of, and then you have the UCC code, universal, I mean, um, commercial code. I forgot what it was the, the uh, acronym, but you have this UCC code. Regardless, everything is by contract because I contract. And it, um, with the, everything is about contract and then the leases the contract. And in the contract, I had to pay, even though they had a policy over top of it, um, stating that they, 
do while they were in, in the receivership with this policy of of your rent freezing that was overlooked in the court room so you have all these um casting spells and um not knowing things and stuff like that so they always would win their case they got their money every time i went but i would give them a, a hard way to go and it would take like two years one any anywhere between one and two years before it, it's settled but so they consider me a, a nuisance because i fight back you know um affidavits file affidavits file grievance file this whatever needs to be filed if they're trying to redo vitalize the lease or add a policy I, i'd be objective because i had i knew i had the right no other tenants would do this so i would object to the the their their classification of upgrade but really it was a downgrade for the tenants but tenants didn't see it so i would go ahead and write it up as an objection to it and and submit it and quite as kept every time i would do anything on on a letter or in on a piece of pen and paper or type it up or whatever they i would get attacked um they might buy my two my two neighbors would start engaging in gang stalking uh mechanism um you have to look that up gang stalking but yeah so this is just um you know this is just and it's been like this for a good 3 years 4 years and I've called and said hey I have a uh, electric magnetic field in my unit could you um investigate um I, um there's sonic waves um and they're making me ill they're affecting my granddaughter and affecting me cuz my granddaughter uh is here uh at she's two now but she when she was born she was here just about every day the first year and um because I was part of the support system so um she was here um so my concerns was the, the environment concerns was more about her um as well um being affected later on in life with this um electric magnetic field and being in in, in a in, um a sonic wave environment or um a transducer and um the more you in it um the more the body feels it um if someone comes here they're not going to feel no vibration and a person that enters my house right now is not going to feel no vibration um So um I've been in it for for day in and day out. I basically don't go anywhere. I'm house I'm basically a house person. So I stay in at home all the time. So I'm going to be drenched in it. So it's going to affect my body. So if you look up that word, you'll see um even astronauts who who's been affected by the 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 vibration, the resonance uh, of of the vibration. So you want to look up that. Um meanwhile, um I'm going to try again because right now they start in Sutton Housing Authority is sending me letters, you know, um intimidating me about my lease um because of an anniversary date um recertification every year there's once a year you get recertification whatever your month is, your anniversary month, which it mine has always been November. Um they try to shift it around and um they don't they don't even um HUD has a policy with this anniversary date so you can look that up but they going to try to switch it or comp- they going to try to influence other people of how to or or try to um make excuses of 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 bringing me in again with bef- before the anniversary date that's what they do that's how they generate the um what is called low impulse um control to try to annoy me low impulse control is like just scrambling up all my documents and my files that they that they have that's in their possession to always have me come in or to annoy me or to be have me going to court with them and stuff like that. So and then when you try to call HUD cuz they're influenced as a corp um as a corporation you got the tyr- tyranny going on people who are executive who are tyranny and they don't like to be challenged and that's what they call me dissident because that's the word dissident. They find me dissident person who challenged them all the time. I challenged them because it is my right. They take away your LNL inalienable rights, all of that. You know, um and so I just um you know, that's um, I will always stand. I'm not I, if you don't you fall for anything. That's the way I've always 
I was brought up. My dad taught me to be the defender of the underdogs and to stand up. You know, um, I had the warrior genes. I don't get my warrior genes doesn't go into the physical battle. My warrior genes go into battling with the pen and paper. Or, you know, verbally without being rude or nasty or it's nothing like that. Um, so um, I guess that, you know, and you can't, and the thing is, some people say move, but when you're, and you have a, a certain income, you, where do you just, you, with this, the income I, can, I, I have, there's no way I just can just get up and move. You know, there's no way. So um, that's another um I wish I could. I tried to put in a reasonable accommodation in November, and it got me um, vibrant and even stronger. Reasonable accommodation is when a disabled person basically requests um, a um, accommodation because they're of whatever issues they have, like mine is a living environment and living issue. And so I requested that they um, they check it out. And if um, if need be, to re um, place me, move me somewhere with the same accommodations that I have now, a two-bedroom unit, or give me a voucher and move on. That's what basically what it was. What it was. They were sent back me, didn't come to my house or nothing, just sent me, had the, their lawyer, in-house lawyer, who's also head of um, the Human Resource, I think it is, uh, Maria. She responded back with that. Housing authority says nothing wrong with my unit, and um, and and that and basically you know that um, if Comcast because Com because I was I had also placed in there that the outside wiring um, cable wiring is connected to my smart meter it shouldn't be going to the poles street poles and and because I said it was Comcast Warren, she said call Comcast up and everything like that. But it's their smart meters because they umbrella under Data Corporation. That's the name of the smart meter people. Um, not you know like electric company, but theirs is Data Corporation, something like that. Data Monitoring Data Corporation or Data Monitoring Corporation. It's up to housing authorities to contact them and have it removed. But they're not going to be in compliance with that because they want to give me a hard time. So anyway, okay, I'm going to end this. I'm out.